And today's adventure, not really an adventure, but another one in our museum series. The Peterson Automotive Museum. This is one that I've been actually wanting to come out to probably for 10 years or more. And we're probably, well not probably, we are finally getting out here for the first time. The Peterson Automotive Museum. We're gonna check out some movie cars today. I'm gonna check out some classic cars. I guess they have a Porsche exhibit. The, I'm kind of expecting this place to be flooded with Porsches. And we're gonna see some cool stuff today, guys. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to 909 Adventures. Another video here in our museum series that we kind of just pepper in into the channel every now and again. But today, I got a couple of guests. I got Mr. Thrasher. Hey Jesse, yeah, all the way from Canada, man. Thanks for coming to see me. I know you're doing some other things other than uh, coming out to see me, but yeah, this is pretty cool. Came from the Great White North, man. <laughs> I heard the, the Golden State. You guys are under snow up there, aren't you? Yeah, but yeah. not right now. We're at, we're at the Peterson Automotive Museum. Exactly, and we're gonna check this out today, guys. Uh, hit that like button before we get started, guys. <laughs> Penthouse? You guys see what I see? I gotta get over there. Tires. Oh, is that the. Is that what they used on the moon? It is! I love space stuff. Look at it. It's what they used on the. Uh, oh, what do they call that? That is so cool. So cool. I want to touch it. I know you can't, but you still want to touch it. But look at is this bumblebee? I think it is bumblebee. It's it's bumblebee. It's bumblebee. Look at that. I'm sorry guys, but I like this bumblebee better than that bumblebee. You guys can pause and read if you want. This is the bumblebee. Look at that, guys. Sorry. Try to get rid of as much of the glare as I can for you guys. That is the bumblebee. So cool. Let me get this one. Actually, see these quite a bit. A lot less rare than this, but. Still, it's pretty cool. Camaro concept prop car, Bumblebee. That is actually a really nice yellow. There's a little bit of shimmer to it. It's pretty cool. Another Transformers car. Well, this is very, very cool. And guys, this is one of my favorite movies, guys. From Ocean's Eleven, you can see Brad Pitt driving this car. From Ocean's Eleven, you can see Brad Pitt driving this car. I think George Clooney's with him. I want to say it is so cool. Yeah, you see him driving this around in, uh, in Vegas. How cool that is! Ford Falcon. That is such a nice car. Back when cars had style. It's a 
That's a beautiful car from driven in the gumball rally 1976 I'm not familiar with that movie but still a beautiful car now let's just take a look inside since we're right here very nice oh it's a Lincoln let's see if this is from any particular movie driven in the matrix reloaded and the Matrix Revolution. I know, man. I've seen that. This is very cool. The 1989, uh, as depicted in Batman 1989 and Batman Returns, so. This is as depicted, so I'm taking this as a replica and not in the actual movie. That is so cool. Excuse me, excuse me. As depicted. So this 1966 Ford Thunderbird was driven in Thelma and Louise. Excuse me, you're good. That is a beautiful car. Thunderbird. So, so what do you think so far, Mrs. 909? It's pretty cool. Pretty cool? That's I've it? I've been here. Oh, you've been I've here? I've been here when I was little, but they change it all the time. Yeah, they do. So, so I mean... The cars, the cars it's themselves are movie stars in their own but it's right. It's different when you're older and you know where the yeah. cars come from and understand. But the cars are stars in their own right, wouldn't you say? In their own way. So, we've got a bunch of uh, Mission Impossible series vehicles at that one. This is a really, really small mini. I don't know how to, anybody fit in there. And this is the bike that was, uh, this is right here, ridden by Tom Cruise off a cliff in Norway, Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning Part 1. So, I mean, we've all seen that. We've all seen that clip. Even if you haven't seen the movie, it's been all over social media. And then a, another Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol BMW. It's pretty cool. Disney has a way of following us everywhere. I've said in several of our movies, everywhere we go, we we'll always find something Disney. All right, guys, we're, we're going to level two. Hoping to see some more movie cars down there. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll like see you the down there. Cool. Yeah, the Batmobile is really cool. I think I liked the Christine car. The best yeah, the Christine here. car, yeah. Yeah. Definitely up there. Those are the two best on this floor. Yeah. Very Hoping for more. Oh, yeah. You already see it down there, guys. You guys see that down there? All right, so this is what I wanted to see, guys. What I spotted from the other room. It's a Herbie the Love Bug. Uh, this driven in Herbie fully, fully loaded 2005. Okay. Not the original 60s Herbie I was hoping for. Is that Knight Rider? That's Knight Rider. Dude. This is so cool. I wasn't expecting to see any of these cars here. I got the, the Knight Rider phone right there. Can you see that? It's so cool. <laughs> Look at They have it plugged in to keep the light going. That is so cool, so iconic. All right, so here's something else that's really cool. It's the Bat Cycle, guys. It's a 1966 Yamaha YDS-3. It's the Bat Cycle, 1966. So this is the one that was used in the movie. <clears throat> I don't know if we ever actually seen the Bat Cycle in the, uh, the TV series, but I know for sure the movie. <clears throat> 
And then get a DeLorean. But first, the Starsky and Hutch Grand Torino. And uh, the actor that played Hutch just died not very all that long ago. Maybe it probably hasn't even been a month yet. But look at that. So cool. This is a 1981 DeLorean DMC 12 time machine. Driven in Back to the Future, 1985, Back to the Future. So this was in all three, according to this here. You guys can read that. All three Back to the Futures. Oh, look, I didn't even notice that about the Grand Torino. They have uh, the little little stand there, the little bracket to hold the, uh, the camera. So cool. Yeah, I'm going over there right now. Christmas tree, rear deck projection lamp. Wow, very cool. Very cool. Let me zoom in a little for you guys. You can see uh, a little bit more. Get an up close look. You got a flux capacitor back there flexing. So cool. All right, so this is a 1932 Ford Flathead Roaster as seen in Iron Man 2008, Iron Man 2, in 2010. And I recognize that from Fast and the Furious. You don't even have to, uh, I don't even have to read that plaque there to know that is from Fast and the Furious. I think part two. All right, so yes, Fast and the Furious, Fast and Furious 2. That's cool. It's definitely showing some signs of age. Hard to see maybe on the camera, but it's still pretty cool. Very cool. And then the mystery machine. Got the mystery machine. You had a picture of the cast right behind it. And somebody that wishes they were in the movie in front of it. Look at that. So cool. Mystery machine. So, yeah, yeah, I know. So, yeah, I I think the uh, the cartoon version of the Mystery Machine is modeled after a different van than what they used in the movies in 2002. This is a 1972 Bedford CF, and that is the Mystery Machine from the movie. And this is the 1967. That is my favorite year for a Mustang. Uh, this is Mustang Eleanor from the 2000 adaptation of Gone in 60 Seconds. It's a pretty color. Yeah, it's a beautiful color, a beautiful car. Everything. Driven in 1986 Cobra. That is a nice car. Sorry about the glare, guys. I can't do much about it. 
Uh, look what you got. A prop back there. I don't know if that is a real movie prop or not. But they placed it back there. You got a badge. And the knife. All right, bro. So what do you think about it so far? I'm just noticing the car from Cobra. Yeah. You know me and Adam the Woo, we had to go up into the Cobra. Apartment. i seen that video, man. I've never laid eyes on this. I was just kind of taken by the Nicholas yep. Cage. Uh, yep, Eleanor. Yeah, gone 60 seconds. Oh, man. This is crazy. We still haven't seen 007 cars yet, though. Uh, there's Die Another Day car right over here. Is it? Pierce Brosnan's. I guess I missed it. I'll have to go check it out. The there. green one? All right, cool. It's hiding over there. <laughs> All right, guys, if you guys want to see the uh, the last surviving uh, car from John Carpenter's Christine and the 007 vehicle we were just talking about from Die Another Day, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications turned on because I will be doing shorts specifically on both of these vehicles, along with some of the other ones that you've seen here in the video today. With that being said, guys, make sure you guys go subscribe to Mr. Thrasher right here on YouTube, uh, all the way from Canada, guys. He came out here just to see me, and of course, he had to get some other videos in uh, while he's uh, while he's out here. Uh, but make sure you guys subscribe to him. Go subscribe to Jesse right here. Actually, not right here, but over on Instagram. Uh, links are down in the description and make sure you're subscribed to this channel as well like this video share this video all this helps to get the word out and this will help our channel grow thank you guys so much for watching youtube is going to suggest that you guys might like one of these videos here on the screen next bartender Coors light please